All right, welcome in. Hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you have not already. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my view, uh, my videos and end up subbing. If not, I hope you have a good week. So, this is my review for Interceptor. It uh, is an action. It was released June 3rd on Netflix. Uh, runtime is 1 hour and 36 minutes. The director is Matthew Riley. And uh, here are some of the cast. All right, welcome back. Here is the plot. One army captain is forced to use her years of tactical training and military enterprise when a counter a total of attack threatens the remote missile interceptor station of which she is in command. Just the idea of this is ridiculous and I was fine with that going into this and had low expectations. But the story from scene to scene was even more ridiculous. Uh, the premise had potential to be entertaining, standard action-wise piece, but the dialogue was just felt sloppy and lazy. The writing itself felt rushed and seemed like they just quickly tried to throw in stuff to fill in plot holes of the story. The acting was below okay and some was bad. The actress couldn't stay in an American accent the whole time. I think because she's married, or she was, I don't know if she is or still is, but she's married to uh, Hemsworth, one of the Hemsworths. So I think she's Australian, but I could be wrong. Um, but either way, you could tell she has an accent and that she was also going through it back and forth, which from very, like, within, I don't know, about five minutes of her speaking, you could tell. Uh, sound of the narrating in the beginning and from the staff of the Pentagon sounded like cutscenes from modern video games, Call of Duty or something like that. Honestly, the whole movie felt like a B movie with a high budget, while having a slight feel of video game cutscene as as a whole. It's it's a huge mixture between that of from beginning to end. Uh, so many problems with with whatever this was. Um, but here is my personal rating. Again, right away you could tell something was off about this film. Starting with her non-American accent going in and out. I don't suggest this film to any of you. And I wonder who at Netflix approve of this after it was made. Uh, in, my, in my opinion, it was worse, the worst Netflix film I have seen so far that I can think of. Because um, it is original as far as I can tell. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below after you saw it. If you haven't seen it already and you plan on seeing it, let me know what you guys think of it. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Uh, did you just find it enjoyable? I don't know. I personally didn't like it. It was really bugging me the whole time just with her freaking accent going in and out. Um, but then it just got really generic and really kind of cartoony, I guess you say. Or, or not cartoony in per se, but more of a, and I know it's not really a term, but uh, video gaming. So, um, yeah, uh, I love you all. Please stay safe and skull.